Today we're back on the channel with DM Diablo Moral and I wanted to check in with him just to do one of our state of the game videos where we kind of give you our opinions on how things are right now, current update, future updates, and just where we sit, how we're feeling about Diablo Immortal. DM, how you doing today, brother? How how are you feeling about the game? Uh, pretty good. I mean, I, I don't think there's been too much of a change in the game in terms of other than the Accursed Towers, I think since last time we did one of these talks. And I'm feeling pretty much the same with some benefits. I don't know how much you want to go into the recent patches and stuff, but um, there's some nice changes lately, and there's been some changes that I think people don't like as much. Like, I think the Cursed Gear was, you know, kind of a swing and a miss a little bit. I feel like it's kind of exciting, but, you know, not that really. But I also think that, like, this most recent minor patch had some pretty nice changes in it, especially related to the PvP stuff. And most of these changes were targeted uh, directly at feedback and, you know, customer complaints, whatever you want to call them. Basically, posts on Reddit type of stuff. And so mm -hmm. it's always nice to see them, you know, listening, which has been kind of a theme over the last three or four months. Um, they even had one major patch, I forget what it was, but in one of the major patches was targeted at people's feedback back with the, the whole set changes back when they started increasing the way that sets actually work and being farmable with the guaranteed and stuff. So it seems about, ever since about then, um, a lot more of these patches have been targeted, almost directly just taking feedback and implementing which what people are saying. Which is kind of refreshing to see. I like that. The Leaving Clan cooldown change, for instance, I like that they're... They kind of took that feedback and instantly addressed it. That would have been a problem sooner rather than later. Yeah, I mean, I know I saw your video on that. That was one of the things that you really thought kind of broke the game a little bit. And I agree with you there, DM. They are listening. That, And as you mentioned, that has been a theme. They do seem to be hearing what's being said. But at the same time, they're not directly tackling some of the things. Like, like the new tower yeah. system. I can... I've heard a lot of negative yeah. feedback from that type of PvP. Like, we just want a simple PvP where we could kind of battle people and they put in this really robust system that um, honestly, I don't do very much, to be fair. Um, I've, I've kind of, I'm kind of giving up on the idea of just casual PvP in Diablo Immortal. Um, and, which is yeah, crazy, because I've always been the one that wanted PvP, but how, you, how did you feel? What was your experience like in the towers? Look, I, I think we kind of have the same feeling where, like, PvP is just kind of miserable in this game. Like, it's, <laughs> it's not really... It's a, at least... Maybe at the most upper level, it's enjoyable when you're all even. Like, if everyone had 7k wings, it might be a lot more fun. And I don't even think it's the resonance as much as, the, like, secondaries and Ivan stats. And a lot... Of, you know, there's, there's a pretty big gap. And yeah. um, because of that, PvP is isn't really something that I don't, I don't think in any game mode they implement, unless they actually do like a fractured planes level thing where you go in there and everyone goes and, you know, bare knuckle fighting or something. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty hard to have PVP be enjoyable. I uh, agree. I, li I like the map. The map is a cool, it's mirrored. One of my complaints has commonly been like the maps are unbalanced. So having a, what seems like a somewhat balanced though imperfect from what I'm seeing in some of these clips, like spawn, the spawns are kind of weird and stuff, but um i'll see when i when i get a chance to play it um you know the fact it's only 10 players really yeah. um i think it's kind of a bummer i think what i was really hoping for honestly and what i was a little let down is i, I was hoping it was going to be some queue like a battle mode you know where you you queue into something new yeah you know i hear you and um when i saw it was a clan thing i was kind of bummed out i will say i like the pve side of it uh, you know, the PvP side for me is a little bit like, maybe I'm going to be one of the lucky few that gets the chance to try it every now and then, but I don't think very many people are, you know, going to get the chance to try it. Um, just because it's only 10 players out of a clan, and they really seem to be funneling people into, like, you know, let's fill out these clans. So by a, you know, a byproduct of that is just less, you know, total people percentage-wise in these clans are going to get a chance to play it. That feels a little bit of a bummer, and I kind of... I kind of think most people wanted the Q thing as well. Um, but the PvE, I, I really, I actually liked the PvE of it, you know. I had a good crew to do it with, but even if you're doing it solo, it, it feels pretty good. The rewards feel pretty good too. Like you just, you get that contribution chest. I like it. I got a set item out of one of them, and I'm yes. way too lazy to farm a lot of set items, <laughs> so I like that. Um, so yeah, I, there's good and bad, but the PvP on it is, yeah, it's probably disappointing. Yeah, I mean, I, I say that 
PvE as a whole inside of the game is pretty good. I think that's a really, I, I think they do that well. I think they struggle with the PvP inside of the game. PvP, PvE is done well. But let's not talk about that because that was the last update. Let's move on to, um, I know that you just put out a video on the patch notes. And there was something that stood out to me in the patch notes, um, which is actually something pretty small. I'll start out and then I'll ask what kind of stood out to you. Uh, I noticed that when they were talking about the battle pass, they mentioned that when you finish your battle pass, first of all, they're switching up the gems so you can get the Fervent Fangs, more Fervent Fang gems and less of the Celeste's Weakening. Um, but after you finish your battle pass, you can then ac accumulate some type of a token that you can then use to get the battle pass skin on other classes as well. This is an effort, I believe, to try and make the battle pass skins more valuable. I don't think it's the right answer, but it is an answer that they did hear that people are upset that, you know, uh, I'm playing as the Barbarian now and I'm only going to get that that skin on the Barbarian. I've been complaining about this forever. So at least they're making a, a, an attempt to change it. Now, I don't know how many tokens you're going to have to get to actually buy that. It could take you six battle passes to have enough tokens to unlock one of the skins on another class as well. But... I thought it was kind of cool. Did did you like that? Did you not like it, or do you really not care? Um, I think the devil's in the sauce of you know how many tokens, like you're saying, it takes. <laughs> like if if it's you know you get five. I think we get five tokens right from the battle. There seems to be five different levels in which we get it from what I remember, and if it, or maybe it was four, whatever. So you get it, depending upon how many skins you get. If it's one skin, one token, you know maybe it's not so bad. Um. But yeah, I, I don't imagine that this. We'll have to see. Uh, I, now, I think that what everyone really wanted to see was just, hey, make the battle pass skins work for all your class. You would just make them cross class right. skins. We already know they got the cross class skins. Which, but the thing is, they kind of charge a premium for those. Like it's a little disgusting. So, um, <laughs> a little. I think they're pro. I thought, yeah, a little, just a little bit now. So I, I think that uh, they're. They probably would be decentivized to make these cross class just from the normal purchasing of it. And so because they want to sell more skins, they can't really just start handing out all these free cross class skins and like devalue the rest of their skins. Cause you know, if you have, it's what season 12, you got, yeah. you know, literally a dozen cross class skins. You're not really going to buy your 13th skin as much as if you didn't have a dozen skins, right? So I yeah. think that's probably their logic. So I think this was their middle ground, like their olive branch, because we, to be honest, I know you have, I know I have for a fact, I know there's been other guys all telling them that we want the bow pass skins cross class. And if anything, just for the fact that the art department did a pretty, pretty fucking killer job yeah. uh, on most of the skins, they look quite good, I think. You know, with maybe the alchemist ones were a little out there, but you know, this is <laughs> the, for the most part, they're pretty good. So I think we all just were a little let down that we don't get to have them. So, yeah, it's in the sauce of how many of these. If we get three or four of them extra. Or if they have the inventory of them where I can go back and buy the the Sea Reaver one for multiple class. You know, my, pick my favorite one. There was one where they all had ginger hair. I would love to have that one on all the, all the classes. So if they have that, then it's, a you know, okay. I thought now it did talking. say something about how there was going to be like a shop of things that are available that you could spend the tokens on and that shop would change. So then maybe this is maybe their way of reintroducing skins from past battle passes um, for people. Then you can get all your gingers on all your classes, man. That could be That's your... what I'm, you know, that's what I'm saying, Echo. So I like I'm it. thinking, I'm thinking maybe if they do that, of course, they could just be refreshing it with whatever the latest battle pass is. And then we just get boned out of the history of other skins. But I imagine they're going to yeah. be selling the elder ones and um you know give some value to the empowered I'd like collector's that. edition i guess so, at, yeah. at least that it's an attempt i don't think it's the right answer but at least it's an attempt yeah. um so we'll see but what did it's you 40 percent? it's 40 percent of what we wanted i guess you well, know it's it depends. not they're, they're kind of trying if I it's a hundred tokens for one skin on another class nah, then it's yeah, well, then it's not 40 yeah. percent. Then, then it ain't much of anything no. <laughs> all right so what did you like from the uh from the notes that we just read up today well, I, to be honest, I like most of them. I mean, it's it's just they're they they do small patches, which I'm okay with, depending upon with the, what they're actually addressing. And I mean, I can't really I can't really complain. Like pretty much everything on this list is like if I'm complaining about this list, I'm really just ratting myself out because like half of these <laughs> stuff are basically stuff that you know we've been saying for them. That they're they're trying our suggestions here, more or less. So like I'm not. 
I'm not really gonna get mad. I like all of this. I mean, the one thing I'll say is that the accursed towers, like where you can kind of attack another tower and then you know you lose your lose tower even, if you win or lose, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm a little I'm a little worried that being able to have the two and still attack kind of is like a little oppressive, but maybe maybe it doesn't matter too much because you still gotta be able to defend yours. I could be way off. It seems to me like it's it that's mostly an offensive, like a little bit of an annoying tool. And I feel like I kind of hope most clans at least get a tower. So I don't really like to see people incentivize. It almost seems like they're incentivizing attacking the third tower, which maybe that is a strategy. Maybe there's something my monkey brain don't get about it. I'll admit to, but like. It just seems a little like, hey, well, if you have two towers, you know, let's not. Why, why give them the opportunity to do the third? Maybe you want to swap out one of the towers. That would be a that's good explanation. That's what I think it is. I think you maybe know, you want to swap. Out. Maybe you have like a mid-powered clan that's trying to get one of the higher, higher towers, the more desirable towers. So they have their two towers that are mediocre held down, but they want to kind of outstretch a little bit and try and take down some whales, yeah. and it gives them the opportunity without having to lose something. I don't know. It's it's yeah, it's not bad. True. It can help you out maneuver, maybe. Like, you know someone's going to go for your strong tower, so you're like, let's just sack that one, and then we'll go for this other one, and we'll rotate the one out, you know, or something. Okay, yeah, no, you could you could argue me into getting it. I mean, it's it's not bad. As as you mentioned, I think you, you hit the nail on the head. It's a small update. Nothing massive is coming with it, but it's not a bad update, which is a nice thing as well, yeah. so I'm cool with that. And, and who knows? Maybe it'll be one token per skin, and we'll feel good. I would doubt that, though. But we'll have to see. It, if the updates were like, you know, every three months, and this is all we're getting, but it's like, these are these minor ones. They do these every, you know, couple of weeks. And I honestly, I've played a lot of mobile games and not all of the, it's, it's fairly rare that they literally like will go on Reddit, read feedback and be like, True. fuck it, let's try it. Like, I don't really honestly see that happen that often or as quickly. Like the, the amount I'll see like feedback issued to direct in-game change has gotten quicker. Like I've noticed that. And I'm sure you probably know it's the same thing, maybe from being in it. It seems like they're really starting to implement a lot of uh, like crowdsourced type of stuff. I mean, at least at least they can see the clan cooldown. I mean, that's kind of the one yeah. I'm thinking of when I'm looking at this. That and the purification shards. People were saying the purification shards felt like they were a little starving, so they bumped that up too. So though, it's I kind of like to see that. At least we're trying there. I mean, there's some other stuff we like to see addressed, but I like you know they're focusing on trying to make PvP matchmaking better. I still want to know like more what that means. I mean, are they going to say like Even we're going to try balance resonance? Like that, that's the only way because it's so it's so reliant on resonance. It has to be resonance resonance based. But we'll have to see how that works. I, I'm not going to see how it works. You can let me know uh, how it all works out because I probably won't be diving into PvP. But DM, I switched back to the Barbarian, man. I was the Necro for a yeah. while. I was actually liking the Necro a lot, but then I just got the urge to be overly aggressive. So I switched back to the Barb. And uh, and I die a lot more. Because I can't, you know, I don't stay out of the battles anymore. I die a lot. Barbarian was, it went from easily my least favorite on, on GameStar. When I played Barbarian, bro, I was miserable. <laughs> like, miserable. Yeah. But what I didn't realize is at the time... Um, you know, I'm sitting there, of course, it was back right when I hadn't played all the classes. So I swapped to Barbarian. I'm like, ah, you know, I'm having, you know, what ifs, buyer's remorse. I could have swapped to, you know, Demon Hunter or whatever, right? And, um, but then later on when uh, the new items came out and there's like the fire, firestorm type of build I was messing around with, man, you can really, you can really get to farming pretty quick. So it's hard not to like that build. It's just, it's super clean and fast. It feel, it's the closest it feels like to a Diablo 3 um, type of gameplay I feel in the game. Just kind of run through and take everything out in your path type gameplay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty smooth. I agree, I agree. Well, hey man, I appreciate you coming to the channel, just kind of shooting it around and uh, feeling out ideas. I think it's good that we do it once in a while. So uh, make sure you guys go check out DM Diablo Mortal. He puts out daily Diablo Mortal videos, guides, walkthroughs, news, and all that stuff. Thanks for coming through, man. Yeah, dude. Always fun. See you later.